So a few weeks ago, we released a skill builder showing how to punch holes in tubes, which of course led to the question, well, how do I merge two tubes together? We'll do that with this guy in this week's skill builder. So last time we looked at using solid tools to punch holes in tubes, we different, different holes. We made like just holes that go all the way through, partially through, tapered holes, holes that change shape. Um, this time, we're going to take a look at something like this and how we would use intersect to actually join the two tubes together. So let's, let's hop right in. Okay, so as I look at this, uh, I have these two. They're not currently groups. Um, they are both solids, so it would be possible to punch a, a hole through one with the other using regular solid tools. But that's not what I want to use. I'm actually going to use just regular old intersect with selection. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by grabbing this tube and I'm going to move it. So I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to slide it right in and I'm going to slide it so that it goes into so that see that end is fully inside the tube. All right. So now this point, what I want when I'm done is basically one solid piece that is a big tube here and then has a tube growing out of it basically. But the opening on the inside should go through to the opening here. And as I look down here, I should see an opening all the way down with a hole in the wall. So I want those to join together. So solid tools actually is not the ideal solution for this. What solid tools will do is it will cut a shape that is similar to this out of the two pieces. It could join the two pieces together, which would leave me this extra geometry and inside I'd have to get rid of. So there's ways to do it with solid tools, but it would be extra steps because I'd have to uh, break geometry twice. I'd have to maybe copy some geometry, move some geometry. So there's a simpler solution. And that's what we're gonna look at right now. So the first thing I wanna do, it's actually gonna be two intersects. The first intersect is gonna be exterior. So I'm gonna select this tube right here. I'm going to shift select this tube right here. So I just have the extra, if I look on the inside, no selection, no selection, just these two exterior pieces. Then I'll hit the right button. I will say intersect face with selection. And there we go. It breaks it. If I look inside, it's still lapping over itself. Inside here, still lapping. Okay, so this is good. This is actually where I want to be right now. By choosing intersect with selection, I'm only saying only these two faces intersect each other. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside. So I'm gonna rotate so I'm looking inside. I'm gonna grab the inside of the small piece, shift, select the inside of the bigger pipe, right click, and again, intersect face with selection. And that's gonna break it. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do some fancy 3D mouse work here. We're gonna dive inside and take a look so there, that broke that piece right there where it hits this. So now we got to do some cleanup. Um, out here on the outside, we want to keep this, but if I look through here, well, I want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to select that and delete it. That's the exterior shell leftover piece. And then here's the interior shell leftover piece. I'm going to delete that also. Now I'm going to spin to a top view. And what I want to get rid of now is all of this. So just by doing that select window, I got the end of the pipe and then the exterior and interior of the pipe. If I hit delete there, look what we got. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So we have our full pipe here with a hole here. It joins on the exterior. It goes all the way through. And we basically just made a T joint, if like a PVC or something like that, but it's one solid piece. The openings on the inside, the joining is on the outside. And we just did that with two. I know I talked a lot and it took longer than it should, but that's kind of what I do. We did just two intersections, exterior inter intersection, interior intersection, and then we erased the leftover pieces. So let's, let's do that one more time. Let's go hop over here, got some more pipes. These two pipes are exactly the same size. So when I slide this guy, I'm gonna triple click this, I'm gonna start sliding it over, and it's gonna disappear into that pipe. Now, this, is a little bit different from what we did before because if I just if I want to X I could actually cross all the way through and do that same intersection work but I'm gonna say I want it just to T so what I want to do is I want this piece to hit directly in the middle of this piece so to do that I'm gonna show my hidden geometry that's gonna give me my lines I'm gonna grab it 
by this point right here. And I'm going to pull that full thing in. I'm going to stay on the red axis, come across, come across, come across, and I want to stop, boom, right where it intersects there. And this is one of the ways you can use intersecting geometry. You can use that hidden geometry to find intersections like that. To do my intersection, though, to actually intersect with selection, I do want to turn my hidden lines off because that's going to make it a lot harder to do. So I'm going to start, do the same thing, exterior, grab my two pieces, right click, intersect face with selection, and we get that. Interiors, same thing, grab my interior, interior, right click, intersect face with selection. So even though my exterior crosses over my interior, it doesn't matter because by running the intersect with selected, it only chooses to see the pieces that are actually highlighted. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll go to the end, delete this piece, go here, delete this piece. I'll now look in the inside. Let's look down from the top. All right, let's grab that, delete it. Oh, I got a little extra geometry. Oh, little, little extra, extra geometry. All right, and there we go. Check that out. So this on the ex exterior, it's joining right at the edge. If I look at the interior, it's going all the way through. And that one is a full T-pipe of two pipes the exact same size. And we can actually, you can come back over here. We can hang out together. So there we go. Um, again, this something like this could be done with solid tools. You could actually uh, create the intersecting faces, create the geometry where they overlap, and take that geometry and merge it into the solid groups to break them and then put them together. It would just be a lot more work. What solid tools can't do is say, okay, only take this face and intersect it with this face while this face only intersects with this face. And that's exactly what intersect with selection does. It gives you the chance to select which faces intersect which, and then you do have to go through and just get rid of your extra geometry. I hope you liked that video. If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them and maybe even some live streams if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. Most if not all of our content nowadays is derived from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.